we're going to explain how to fix the cert path validator exception, trust anchor for certification path not found error in Android. This frustrating error pops up when your Android app can't verify the server security certificate, essentially preventing a secure connection. Let's break down how to solve this problem. One, understand the root cause. This exception means your app doesn't trust the certificate presented by the server. Android uses a set of trusted certificate authorities, CAs. If the server certificate wasn't issued by one of these trusted CAs, or if the certificate chain is broken, meaning there are missing intermediate certificates, you'll get this error. Think of it like this. You need a chain of endorsements to trust a document. Similarly, your app needs a chain of certificates to trust the server. Two, verify the server certificate. First, let's make sure the server certificate is legitimate. You can do this using your browser. Try accessing the server's address, the URL your app is connecting to, in your browser. If your browser shows a security warning, that's a huge red flag. Investigate the warning. It might indicate a self-signed certificate, not issued by a trusted CA, or other security issues that need fixing on the server side. If your browser trusts the certificate and the site loads fine, then the problem is likely on the client side, your Android app. Three, check your network configuration, proxy VPN. Sometimes a proxy server or VPN can interfere with certificate verification. Try disabling any proxy settings or VPN connections temporarily to see if that resolves the issue. Four, inspect the certificate chain, advanced. If the issue persists, you might need to dive deeper. The server needs to provide a complete certificate chain, starting from the server's certificate and going all the way up to a root CA certificate that Android trusts. You can use tools like OpenSol on your computer, not directly on Android, to examine the certificate chain and identify any missing intermediate certificates. This step is more advanced and requires some technical knowledge. Five, self-signed certificates and development. If you're working on a development environment and are using a self-signed certificate, your app needs to explicitly trust it. You'll need to add the certificate to your app's trust store. This usually involves importing the certificate into your app's key store. There are detailed instructions online for this process, but it involves modifying your Android project's code to include the trusted certificate. Be extremely cautious doing this in a production environment. Self-signed certificates are highly insecure for production apps. Six, update your Android system. An outdated Android system might have outdated trusted CA certificates. Make sure your device is running the latest Android version and security patches. Seven, network issues and firewall. Make sure your device has a stable internet connection and no firewalls are blocking the connection to the server. Eight, reinstall the app. In some cases, corrupted app data can lead to this error. Try uninstalling and reinstalling the app. If you've gone through these steps and you still face this issue, provide details about the server you're connecting to, if possible without revealing sensitive information, and any error messages you're seeing. More specific information will allow for more targeted troubleshooting. Remember, security is crucial. Don't ignore certificate errors lightly.